Oh, I'm the chef that loves a challenge. Oh, no. This is a toy of a marshmallow explosion. Oh, this is smoking. I smell something burning. Stand by. Welcome back to Chef Out of Water. I'm Alexis, a chef who's always up for a challenge. That's why I've taken to the internet for you to decide what I should cook with next. At the end, there'll be a surprise guest who will have to guess what I used to make the meal. I don't know who I'm cooking for and they don't know what appliance I'm using, so let's get to it. An easy bake oven. Um, this is crazy. There's there's like not even a full inch of space. My hand is bigger than this tray. This is this is a joke. As a kid, I dreamt about having an easy bake oven. And now my dream is my nightmare. Oh no. You need to make three after school snacks. Okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I think I have a plan. We'll see if it works. For the first course, I'm going to make a personal pizza. To make it really delicious, I'm gonna start off making my own dough. So I've got my warm water, I'm gonna sprinkle some yeast over it and let it bloom. In the meantime, I'm gonna whisk my sugar, salt, and olive oil. This is gonna be a really simple, quick pizza dough. You can tell when the yeast is blooming because it'll start to bubble a little. Yeast looks Foamy and good, gonna add that to the oil and adding the flour. I just had the thought that pizza usually cooks at really, really high temperatures. The internet told me this only gets to 350, so pizza dough, pizza dough might be a bad idea. Maybe if I roll the dough out super thin, I'm gonna let this rise in this oiled bowl. While my pizza dough rises, I'm gonna get started on my next course because it's gonna take a long time. For my next course, I'm going to do nachos. I had this idea that I could make my own tortilla chips by just cutting the tortillas, brushing them with oil, and hopefully they'll crisp up in the Easy Bake Oven. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna add some spices to my ground beef, some salt, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, paprika, cayenne, and I guess I'll just mix it. Ground beef needs to cook to 160 degrees, so it should be able to work in here. I just don't know how long it'll take, and again, I don't think it's gonna get that browning. I have a feeling it might be kind of gray. I'm gonna check on these chips. Oh! Okay, it's not quite there, but it's actually kind of working. Like, there's some crispiness here. Okay, but here's the thing. It's gonna take me like three hours just to make chips. Is there any way that I can have some help? I have a lifeline for you. Meet your sous chef. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my sous chef turns out to be my best friend. Yeah. Um, and I got one too. Okay, so the first step, we have to preheat it. Okay. So, oh, oh. oh. I know this is crazy, mm -hmm. but we have to do it like two chips at a time. Okay. I think while I work on chips, I'll okay. have you work on ground beef. Oh, uh, okay. I really want to use this. Let's take a push through. Got it. Okay. Got it. Mm. I heard that. I mean, how crispy do you need chips to be? Really? You know what? <laughs> I think we can pivot mm -hmm. to mini tacos. That's cool. I think it's time to check. Okay. Oh. Ooh. It's like, <gasps> oh wait, <gasps> and I can do oh this. Oh my god. <gasps> if, okay. Wow, okay, this is, this is kind of cooked. <laughs> I know. Holy. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a long way to go. <laughs> um, uh -huh. But I think if you keep doing the beef, yeah. We'll be good. Okay. I'm gonna cut out some mini tortillas from the big one um, because this doesn't fit in the slot, but this does. <laughs> so. So we wait. Yeah. Yes. I got it. 
got one. Go. Okay, wait. This is actually, this is like a chip. Why is that so much better? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stick with nachos. This one goes back. Yep. You're getting so good at this. Wow. It's a beautifully designed machine. Chip! I have two chips. <laughs> that looks great. Look at our beef. Wow. wow. We've Last done one. we've done one thing. <laughs> so we've got two in here, one in here. Mm -hmm. So we're actually almost at ten. Oh, it cool. should only take 25 more minutes <laughs> for the personal pizza. One sausage. Okay, if you can remove the casing and crumble it up, mm -hmm. we're gonna do it the same way that the ground beef. Okay. I was thinking of sausage, pepper, onion pizza. It feels a little ambitious now, but I think the pepper and onion can just be, will kind of roast. <gasps> Wait. Hmm? Oh, this is smoking. Uh-oh. One very crispy chip. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be on the bottom of the pile. Some people, that would be their favorite chip. Yeah. <gasps> what do you think? Yours are beautiful. Ooh. Sorry. Two chips. Love it. All right. All right. I'm going to do nine chips. That feels sufficient. Ooh, wow. This dough is. Wow. It's feisty. I think she's doing well. I think we're coming to the part I'm nervous about. Okay, if you can get that cookie cutter uh -huh. and stamp out two. Circles. Circles. Okay. okay, can you check the sausage? I bet it's mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna check the peppers and we'll okay. see where we're at. All right. Oh. Ooh, look at the peppers. Do you think the sausage is ready? Whoa, yeah. Amazing. Oh Amazing. Great. Okay. Do you want to do it? The honors like a real pizza. Here, I'll check this in. <laughs> My confidence level about the pizza is a seven. Cool. Oh, you seem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thanks. Can you check the pizza? Mm, gladly. I just took these onions out. We have, a, it actually looks, it looks really good. It smells good too. It smells like very doughy. Right? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, these look, these look amazing. I mean, this is, yeah. Wow, Oh my cool. God, the bottom has some brown. So good. They're, I mean, this smells, mm. it smells amazing. Mm. It's, it's kind of more like focaccia than pizza, but. That's great. It's fine, but I think I have it from here. All right. Thank you so much. I <laughs> can't wait to see. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ryan was the biggest help I could have ever asked for. It's time to start plating. This is pre-made sauce. Got some mozzarella and some of my toppings. I'm so excited for this person to guess what I used. Like they're gonna have no idea. This is actually really fun. <laughs> I made a mini pizza with real pizza dough in an easy bake oven. Making food with a kid's toy is so out of my element, but I feel elated. There was a cheese pull. Did you see it? One of my favorite after-school snacks was cookies every single day. So this, this definitely needs a sweet element, so I'm gonna make a crispy rice snack. I'm just gonna cut some marshmallows, some butter. Got my marshmallows on, gonna pop them in. I'm gonna layer the nachos with obviously chips, cheese, my ground beef. Got some black beans, tomatoes, and avocado. Oh boy. Uh oh. Seems to be a bit of a marshmallow explosion. Woo! Shoot, okay, oh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Pressure is on. This, I feel better about this, this looks good gonna add chocolate chips. <gasps> I'm gonna go find a cookie cutter and like put this into a cute shape. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, I've been told that the taste testers is here and they're ready to try and I can't wait to see if they can guess what I've used. 
My name is Jonas and I'm nine years old. The first time Alexis cooked for me was on I Draw You Cook robot episodes. We heard you really like robots. Beep, boop, bop, bop. Let's eat. I actually love it. I think it looks so weird and cool. The cookie dish. <gasps> That's mine. That was amazing! <laughs> Today, Alexis made three snacks for me, and I have to guess what she used to make it. I'm so proud of everything I made, um, and I can't wait to see what this taste tester thinks. Let's bring them out. Bring them out! Oh, <laughs> something. Wow. It's so good to see you again. You too. How's it going? Good. <laughs> For your first after school snack, you have nachos. Good. <laughs> Tastes like nachos. Ooh, great. On a scale of one to ten, what would you give these nachos? An eight. Great. I'll take it. You've got mini pizzas with sausage, pepper, and onion. It's good. <laughs> Does it taste like pizza? Um, yeah. Yeah? I, I, maybe the crust would be a little harder. I think that's a fair assessment. On a scale of one to 10, what would you give this pizza? A six. Fair. Are you ready for your last Ooh. after school snack? It's good! Hey! <laughs> a 10! A 10? Okay, so we've got an 8, a 6, and a 10. I think that's pretty good. I don't like that. Is it that she put tomato? Oh, you don't like tomato, I yeah. remember. Tomato! And this was kind of hard to eat it, like to bite it off. Mm. As you can see, Okay, so now that you've tried all three snacks, what do you think I used to make them? A pan. Valiant, valiant choice. Oh, I know, a rolling pin for the, the, the dough. I definitely used a rolling pin. What do you think I used to cook it, though? A stove. A stove. Oh, wait, no, an oven. Okay, well, I've got some news for you. I basically used a kid's toy to make all three of these. No, you didn't. I did. You used a kid's toy? Yeah. This is what I used to make this. I am so impressed with this dish. Ah. Thanks, Jonas. Bye-bye. I did make a fatal mistake of not actually trying the chips, so. <laughs> They're really hard. I still made chips in an easy bake oven. Okay, the chips are fairly inedible. But overall, I think this day was such a success. I feel so proud and excited and I just had absolutely no idea that any of this was possible. And you know, I know I said easy bake ovens were a nightmare, but I think I just fulfilled a childhood fantasy. Comment below and let me know what you make in your easy bake ovens.